Here in North Carolina, we have lots of trees and they're everywhere. Some of them standing tall and splendid, others standing tall and dead. We call those zombie trees. So how do you spot one? Things to look for, certainly any dead and broken branches, any discoloration in the leaves, bad branch attachments, any cracks or splits, cavities in the trunk, something to be aware of or a way to identify it. There's no needles left on there the bark starting to come off on the tree. You see the top was broken out at one point. Now how did zombie trees develop? Yeah, so it can be things that happen as the result of a storm, so damage from high winds and rain. There are also things within a tree that make it more likely to break. Mushrooms are a good indicator, whether it's around the tree or on the tree itself. Uh, it's an indication of rot, and it could be that those are dead roots or a dead section of the tree that's been invaded by a fungus, and it's, it's further decayed and weakened because of it. So some zombie trees can be safe. Yeah, and that's, and that's good news, right? I mean, I, I like to think we're, we're in the business of saving trees, and sometimes that is removing the whole tree, but a lot of times it's pruning or cabling or bracing or some other uh, methods that can keep the tree healthy. Or even after a severe storm comes through, have your trees looked at because there could be damage there that you don't realize and you may end up with one of those zombie trees. Kind of like a tree physical. A checkup, <laughs> they call it, yeah. yeah. In general, being proactive is the way to handle this. And that's doing things like pruning and thinning that we were talking about. Picking the right tree for the right location when you're planting. Uh, also things like fertilizing and giving it nutrients to help it grow steadily and, and, and healthy. And here are